Sam, this is a very complicated case. It's an aesthetic case of a patient losing an anterior uh, an upper incisor. And we are thinking about how we're going to provisionalize the case. This patient doesn't like anything removable. And I wanted to know from you, what are the options to give this patient a stable provisional while he's healing from the bone grafting, the implant placement, and later on the uncovering? I would say from a lab perspective is to fabricate a fiber reinforced composite bridge that could be bonded to the adjacent teeth and put a laminate veneer on top of it. That option is, has several advantages. One of them is the laminate veneer will match perfectly the teeth. The second advantage, this melon bridge made of composite could be cut off later on and replaced without leaving any black marks on the adjacent teeth, where usually the wings are. So I think uh, that's a good option uh, for now if the, you cannot uh, immediately uh, load the implant or patient don't want any removal appliances. This is a great solution, I love it. And my question is, once we place this Maryland bridge after the healing, we expect a lot of swelling because of the grafting. How are we going to accommodate the swelling with the Maryland? Because with the flipper, we used to cut it back, allow the tissue to swell and shrink back, and then we added material. How does it work with the Maryland bridge? Well, the beauty of Maryland bridge, it's a softer material. You can go ahead and grind that pontect um, and make some clearance for the tissue. So it's not difficult to, to grind off after bonding because you're grinding on composite. Okay, so it's a great solution, but what happens when you place the melon bridge, now comes the time to place the implant. You have to cut it off. Do you sacrifice the veneer? Do you have to make a new one? What happens to that? So there's two methods here. When those wings are cut off from the teeth, and then you will end up with a pontic that hold that veneer. The beauty of this technique we can reposition with composite the same veneer and bond it intraorally in the mouth and save the doctor and the patient from additional charges. So it could be reused as a pontic. Have you bonded in the past uh, patient existing teeth? It's the same technique. Good, so that's very, very clear. Now, last question. When you use the Maryland Bridge as a provisional, can you still mold the tissue for an emergence profile for tissue contours or do you do it only with the temporary on the implant? It's the initial crown, the screw retained implant, temporary crown, that's, that's the device that will mold the tissue properly. So Sam, this is a beautiful restoration, beautiful temporary restoration, uh, actually much more beautiful than a lot of the permanent restorations that I see. How did you get the lifelike appearance of the provisional? I mean, it's really standing out like an actual uh, tooth, enamel. How does that work? You know, Zeev, th this lifelike appearance comes from the patient mouth. All you have to do is mimic the patient natural tooth, which is the adjacent one. It's called biomimetics. Biomimetics is copying the nature. It's challenging, but uh, I love doing that. I've been doing that for the last 20 years. And I would love to see you at our bioemulation colloquium this year in September, Los Angeles. This is one of the finest meetings you can attend in dental industry. Can't wait to see you. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. No, thank you.